Hey guys, how's it going? Justine here. We're back with another camera unboxing and if you guys are like, Justine, you're obsessed, you have a problem, you would be 100% correct. But I have this problem because I am trying to find the perfect vlogging camera. Not only for me, but for you guys. So I'm kind of here just testing out everything possible and I have a video coming up where I'm going to vlog with four different cameras, same video, same place, holding them all and you guys can compare and contrast and we can kind of do this together to see what camera you guys like, what you don't like about each one. And the cameras that I'm gonna do this comparison with is the 70D, which I'm filming right now with, the Canon G5X, which I unboxed the other day, and the Canon G7X, which is the one that most vloggers are currently using, and this one that I just picked up, which was actually a recommendation from some of you guys. This is the Canon EOS M3, and this is a mirrorless camera with interchangeable lenses. So one of the biggest complaints from some of you guys is you're like, that's really great, but if I'm spending so much money on a camera, <laughs> that's small like this, I want to be able to take off the lenses and kind of get a little bit more out of the camera, but yet I want it to be something smaller than a DSLR. So that is where sort of the mirrorless cameras are sort of coming into play and that's why a lot of people are choosing these options over the DSLRs. But honestly, there is just, there's so many options out there that it's driving me crazy because I want to test them all. But unless someone's going to send them all to me, I don't think that I can buy them all. I wasn't even gonna do an unboxing, but I figured I would because I'd probably be talking about the camera and you guys will want to see it. So this one is the one that comes with one of the kit lenses, 18 to 55 millimeter. I'm so excited, like this is, this is what gets me excited. I know all the girls do their makeup hauls and their clothing hauls. No thank you. I hope something is not supposed to be in that section because there's nothing there. I feel like there might be something that's supposed to be there. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just gonna take all the things out and then we can sort through them. Got our USB cable, got a battery, neck strap, camera body. Let's open it up. Oh, he's so little. By little, I mean in comparison to the DSLR. It also has one of the flip up viewfinders, which is great for if you're vlogging or shooting videos by yourself. Something that I have wanted these little cameras to have is a microphone input, and guess what? The EOS cameras do have a microphone input, and I'm sure that's the reason why Canon is refusing to put them in this one, because then no one will want to buy this one. You guys are smart, I get it, but I'm losing my mind. I can't keep up, guys. So here's the lens, 18 to 55. So it's just sort of basically like if you've ever used a DSLR camera, You've got this little guy right here. Looks like on the inside. Lock it into place like so. <laughs> You'll definitely notice that this is clearly much bigger than the previous little guys here because of the lens, but you can also get different lenses, which is gonna be such a cool feature if you wanna do photos or do videos. And especially for me when I travel a lot, I like to try to find the most compact system that I can just carry with me that works very easily. We'll pop the battery in like so. Hopefully I have an SD card somewhere. Put you in there. Lock you up, turn you up. Look at you guys, doing a little zoom in. Try to take a shot. Ooh, that was nice. Let's see if we can take a selfie. Oh, that was a nice shot, a real nice shot. All right, let's try to do a video. One of the things when I'm filming with a DSLR, the image stabilization for video is usually not that good, which is why I love using sort of these smaller cameras. And it already looks like I can tell that the image stabilization on this little guy is definitely much better than one of the DSLRs. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so this is a video direct from the EOS M3. We can zoom in. Does it autofocus? Please, please have a nice focus. Oh, wow. It's definitely heavier than the G5X, which is here, and way heavier than the G7X. So a lot of times when people are vlogging, one of the things that is most important is portability, but also depending upon what you're trying to create, you're gonna want something that has good audio straight off of the camera. So let's, uh, let's see how this audio is, 
shall we? My first impression on the onboard audio on the EOS M3, it's actually pretty good and I'm in a pretty big room and it's very echoey, so I'm sure using that in a smaller setting, it'll be a lot better. Also on this current video, I do have the volume turned up a little bit, which I did do in post, but in the clip that you just saw that came straight from the EOS M3, I did absolutely nothing to the audio, did nothing to the video, so that was straight from the camera, so what you saw is what you got and it's actually pretty good. Now let's take a listen to what this camera sounds like with an external audio input. I'm gonna unplug this microphone. So now we're gonna go to the regular camera audio. I'll put you on top of here. Plug you in. My problem is I can't flip this up, but that's okay, we get the point. Um, okay. All right, here it is. This is a microphone test with the EOS N3 using one of the external mics and I'm pretty excited because this is basically all I've ever wanted in a camera is to have a small portable camera with an external mic option. That's all I want. That's all I want guys, this is it. First impression of what it sounds like with the external microphone, it's clearly so much better and obviously it's going to be because you have an external microphone so that allows you to have so many more options and clearly have better audio. So yes, that is definitely a big selling point. Yes, success. So there's a lot of accessories that you can also get for this. There's an external flash, which you can just plug in right here. And you can also get an external viewfinder for those of you who are used to shooting with DSLRs and you like to have the viewfinder option. But most of the time, if you can see right here, you can basically see everything that you need to see on that and just take your photos like so. And it's really nice. I'm real into it. Oh, this also has a pop-up flash too, which is great. That looks very fragile, so be very, very careful with that little guy. <laughs> Puts you back down. There's a little button on the side you can just push to pop that up. This is the EOS M3. This was announced, I think, last year. And in comparison to the G5X, the body size is almost identical. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. One day soon, there will be the most perfect vlogging camera ever. But for the time being, we've got so many options and so many different things that we can use right now to make amazing quality videos. So it's kind of incredible the amount of options that is out there right now. So if you guys have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments below. And for now, I'm gonna keep continuing to test these out and I will hopefully have a comprehensive video for you soon, giving some examples of everything and different use cases and what I love like and what I don't like about each camera so it'll help you guys make a better decision if you're looking to get one of these. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vid. Bye! I don't think this is gonna work. My confidence is very low for this cooking endeavor. That's how most house fires start. Really? Yep. Okay, listen, I might need you to stand by. That is not a churro.